Hi guys, I am here with Jared Robinson. He's actually been a longtime friend of mine. And Jared is a well-known local artist. He's often at the Art Walk on White Avenue and he does so many shows. So many of you guys know Jared. I think when a person meets Jared, you become Jared's friend. And something that we all appreciate about Jared is obviously he's extremely creative and he's also um, slightly hilarious. So Jared, uh, you have some interesting points of view of all the things that you're juggling with your life right now. So what do you want to say to people out there in Alberta? Well, I find when any change of pace gets disrupted, I can either fight it because I want what was, or I want something else, um, or I can just roll with it. Now, if I do the first route, well, then there's tension on my, you know, I'm not happy, I'm not content. Or I can make, I, I can accept it and be like, let's make a new normal and figure out what that is. And then all of a sudden, I'm okay with that. I'm not, I'm not in tension uh, of something else. And so that's kind of where I'm at right now. I'm trying to figure out the new normal. I think we all are. Yeah, that's great. That's great, Jared. And um, you have a really interesting way, like something you and I were discussing is, what do we even call this anymore? So what are you calling the situation that you're in? This little juggernaut, I call it the COVID coop up. Uh, feeling kind of like a little chicken right now, stuck in my coop. Um, really not allowed to go interact with all the wolves out there because we can't high five anymore. So... The COVID coop up, we're, we're hanging 10 in the house, mainly working from home, got the kids, got two little gals. My wife and I have two little gals here. They're juggling school and fun and play and crazy. And we're all trying to stay sane. Yes, so you have a real strong testimony of dad life in the COVID coop up. How is it for you juggling all these pieces? So far, so good. My wife is an introvert. She loves it. I mean, it's still, it doesn't come without its issues, but she enjoys not having to have all these uh, things that she feels like she should have to do. So that, that helps. I'm juggling work and we're kind of respectful that way. Uh, I kind of do my work downstairs. We do life and family upstairs. And in between all the cracks, we're trying to stay creative and keep the girls um learning having fun being creative and getting along yes and i mean you are one of the most maybe most creative one of my favorite creative people that's for sure and you do all sorts of cool creative things so what are some of the things that you're doing to harness your creativity or to use it as um, a tool for self-care right now uh, for yourself and for your kiddos yeah, we kind of kind of have to uh, think big picture exactly. Each other, not just me. If I'm cool, that doesn't mean everyone else is cool. So I have involved my gals, my girls, uh, in creative projects. Um, one we've been having a blast with personally, and then we also record it so we can share it with others. Uh, so it hopefully helps them um, deal with the coop up. Is we've been drawing. Um, how-to drawings and so I'll grab one of the girls we'll come we'll come down here grab some paper and pens and I will show them how to draw something they'll just say you know what let's draw an octopus reading a book so we'll be like okay here we go let's do it and so we'll record this put it all together it's fun they're having a blast learning and following along figuring out what's what and, and we can kind of share it with the world. We've had a lot of um, teachers and parents and just saying this is a good resource because when we're at home, everyone's looking for something to do to keep the kids occupied, but also hopefully there's some learning in there as well. That, that, that helps. That's so awesome, Jared. And I mean, this is one of Jared's pieces here. Anybody who's come to Sojourn has seen many of Jared's pieces because we just love hanging his work all over our hallways here at our office. Um, so Jared, um, if it's okay with you, I'm going to link some of Jared's information in the description so you can see some of his art on his website. 
Um, or you can just check out some of the video stuff that he's doing with his girls. Um, so anything, like I guess for you, Jared, like what do you think too about humor? What does humor do for you in this situation? Oh, I use humor for everything. I use humor to escape uh, an uncomfortable situation. I use humor just to lighten the load and enjoy. I use humor when things get a little too serious or when I get bored. Uh, if someone's too serious and they're just yapping on, well, I got to break the tension. Sometimes I got to find that line because sometimes, yeah, I don't know. Sometimes it's good to be serious. Absolutely. Um, <laughs> but I find humor is a great way to just lighten, lighten the load. This is all a weird time right now. We're all going through it. Um, take it seriously, but don't carry that heaviness, you know, um, if you can. I don't know. I agree with you. I think that what, um, if, what I hear you saying is there's a balance. So being appropriate with humor, positive humor, you use a lot of positive humor. You don't put people down. You don't no. do a lot of body talk. You're just like kind of in this weird, funny space. And you're like, what if this is a joke, which seems to really, really work. And, and it's lighthearted. Um, and it feels meditative. Cool. Cool. Yeah, there, there's so much, you can find fear in everything, in the unknown especially. That's almost the go-to natural instinct I find is to go to fear. If I don't know it, oh boy, I'm going to panic, I'm going to think about the what ifs. But really, taking it step by step, okay, what's the new norm? What do I need to do? What can I do to make the best of it? And uh, yeah, kind of kind of allow yourself to not carry it all and figure out what you can do, what you can focus on, what you can do to, you know, one, occupy the brain so you're not just like going, you know, you're not paranoid about all these other things that you don't know and you're not in control of anyway. Um, yeah. So be a little goofy, especially with kids. They like to have fun. They pick up on all our moods, right? Anxiety, whatever, fear. So if you can, if you can manage that, but also um, lighten the mood, they seem to do a little bit better. Right. Um, and, and I think in turn, that helps us all. <laughs> I never thought about it that way, actually. So humor is a way for us to regulate our own selves as a parent. And once we calm down our own body, then um, we can offer more calm space for our kids. So humor is an excellent way to just like take a pause, give ourselves a timeout, and then go back in. Oh, cool. yeah. yeah. Super, super cool. Um, yeah, so, and I think, too, what you're talking about with measurable and manageable point of view, the old saying, how do you eat an elephant one spoonful at a time, right? So. Oh, yeah, you can't, you can't shove the whole turkey dinner down, down the hatch. You gotta, no. yeah, totally. One, one spoon, one day, take it day by day, give yourself some grace, have some fun, get creative, learn something new. Um, tons of resources out there, and I think I think that's the beauty of this. Uh, I mean, we're all kind of helping each other out here. Yeah, thanks so much, Jared. So we're gonna say goodbye for now, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to come and visit one of your shows very very soon. So Jared's yeah. info will be down below. Awesome. Thanks, Tara. You're welcome. Bye, bud. See you later. <laughs>